That's a condom and a pant. You and I don't use a condom. And this pants isn't mine. I found them in your box. Well, it is, um, I think it's for one of the girls I met on my journey. Yeah, I think that belongs to her. And um, the condom, I think I bought that one. Do you have any shame? Shame? For what do I know? No one is there to be ashamed. When is this madness going to end? You cheat on me like it's no man's business and you expect me to keep accepting and accepting it? Huh? I am an African man. And I am entitled to more than one wife. I've heard that countless times. An African man is entitled to more than one wife. More than one wife, not chain of concubines. If you want another wife, it is something we should have conversation about. Then I decide to stay if I want. Not you stressing me with all this. Are you not tired? Are you not tired of towing down this same line of conversation every damn time? Because I'm tired. For God's sake, I have a very high libido. You can't even quench it yourself. Okay, come now. Come, let's do something now. I work very hard to provide for this family. And I should be entitled to, 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 to blowing off some steam. For God's sake. Don't you think so? Please. Keep this. Put it back in the bag this way. I will need this. I will burn this. It is God's for me. Like that man has so much God. And all of these gods is because you gave him free access to do whatever he wants to do with you. Right from the beginning of this marriage, you allowed him to treat you anyhow he wants. I have said this before. It's either you continue to stay in this marriage or you walk out of this marriage. I'm sincerely tired knowing that my husband can never be faithful to me. He practically rubs it in my face. Exactly. That is the point. He will keep rubbing it on your face because he knows that you have nowhere to go. <sighs> Men are very comfortable when they cheat, knowing fully well way that the woman has no place to go. And to think that he knows that you are an orphan, he can do as he likes. Babe, you are a graduate. Dust your certificate, get yourself a job. You know one thing though, once you earn salary as a lady, you earn the family respect. But once you become a liability, you become the family property. Post your certificate, get yourself a job, get something doing. If anything should happen to your husband, you will become stranded. Not even your husband's family will defend you. And your children, what are they going to have? And then you see women coming from all over, claiming to have children for your husband. Babe, you have to 
do something now that everything is still going like this. I mean. But he doesn't want, he doesn't want to get the help. He wants me to stay home. That's what he wants. So that he can take full control of you. He wants you to lose your identity. He wants you to lose everything about yourself. All in the name of marriage. Babe, get yourself a job. Get a nanny. And pay that nanny from your salary. If your husband does not want to be responsible, you should be the responsible one here. All I am saying in essence is I want you to have an identity outside this marriage. Do something for yourself. This is not the time for you to start crying and sulking over things. You're going to be fine. Look at me. You'll be fine. Okay? Stop crying. Don't ruin this beautiful look on your face. Hmm? <laughs> and let's go. understand how I am the single one here, but you act more single than even me. Well, that's because you have chosen not to enjoy your life, bro. You have chosen to live your life in a cage. Look at me, man. I make money. I work hard and I earn a good living, right? So why shouldn't I enjoy myself? No, tell me, if a woman can make me happy, I, and I can't afford her. Why don't I just go ahead and afford it and feel the good skin and cause? Bro, yeah. your wife. Oh, that one, she's at home. She's there with her kids. She takes good care of her kids and all. That's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> That's no way to treat a woman. I hope you know that. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. You, know, you seem to forget that we are African men. I don't know about you, but I am an African man. Well, <clears throat> an African man respects a woman. An African man knows how to appreciate a woman. So, my friend, if this is what you call an African man, <laughs> you're still very far off. Right in time. Come to daddy, don't mind this guy. It's talking nonsense. <laughs> I will enjoy my life. I don't know what to say. Please pick your drink, my dear. Let's enjoy our life, right? Aha, uh -huh, there you go. <laughs> Do you have any friend for this guy? So, ah. He can handle the pocket of this up so tight. He's doing. He can handle your friends. Why? He can't handle them, eh? He's a good boy. I mean, I'm 
met a girl at the club. I want to spend time with her. So I brought her here. Eh? The only thing I see now is that you are disturbing me from having my time. And I'm not finding it funny. You should come and get out from here. Get out. Please, let's continue. Okay? Come, sorry, eh? Just. Sorry. Sorry. Just go on the bed. Let's have breakfast then. Okay. Alright, I'll do it for you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. I should be the one thanking you. You know what happened to me last night. She should thank you too because you, you did her job for her as well. <laughs> Baby, this girl is quite strong. <laughs> um, so, um, maybe we are drained. You're drained, right? So can you just help us fix breakfast for us so she can know she's going out? I've transferred you your money here, yeah, so mm. okay. What would you have? Oh, fried egg. Spice it very well, okay. Okay, fried egg, spice. You know how I like my own egg, babe. So just um <clears throat> just make it for us quickly, please, okay? Ah. Very fast. Oh, okay, okay, we're going quickly. We try it very fast. We can't drink. That's good. Just um, good baby. So, 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 so sorry. Don't worry. I'm going to address this, I promise. But what we should be worried about now is what she's going to do. Let's get back from here before she comes back with another thing. Okay? You should go. You should go. Don't you think you're overdressed just to drop the children off at school? Maybe I am not dropping them off at school today. Okay, so where are you off to? 
Where do people go to in the morning when they wake up? Shrum with you. I'm asking you a simple question as my wife. Where are you going to when you're giving me attitude? I am going out in search of a job. Are you mad? I thought we already agreed you're not going to work. Of course we had an agreement. We also had an agreement that we we're going to remain faithful to each other. But you didn't keep to that part of the agreement. So I am not ready to do the same. I am going out in search of a job. Make sure you take care of yourself and drop the children off at school. Listen and listen carefully. Let this be the last time you will ever in your life send me on an errand again. I married you and not the other way around. You will do my bidding. You paid my dowry not by me. I am your wife, not your property. All I did was ask you to pick the kids from school. Is that so much for a father to do? I found you. I am done doing your bidding. For the past 10 years, I have done your bidding. But right now, I am going to do what is right for me. You do everything to find happiness, right? Good. So I also deserve some level of happiness and I am going to do everything to find it where I can. And as for sending you on an errand, we're going to share errands going forward. Come here. Now listen and listen properly. You're pushing your luck too far. Okay, you are pushing me. Don't. And listen, my wife is never going to walk. Try me. Do try me. She's my wife. I provide her every need, everything she needs, I provide it. So she should learn to take everything I say, obey it. Yes. So right now, what I'm saying is that she's not going to work at all. And oh. if she likes, she should dare me. She will see that what I'm going to do to her, ah, bro, she will not believe what will happen. Melvin, what's actually really wrong about a woman getting a job? Like, why don't you want her to work? There's no big deal there if you ask me. That's just another income to your home. The same home. I feel like you should let the woman have a way, let her work and have a freedom. I mean, she had a life before she married you. Come on. Tracy is not going to work. <laughs> I will make sure that happens. I'll make sure of it. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. 
Alright, bye. Yes! Ah! Oh my god! Finally! I got a job. I said I got a job. What for? What do people get jobs for? I wanted a job. I went for an interview and I got it. I thought I made myself clear that my wife is not going to work. Yes, you said so, but there are many things you said that didn't work out. I am tired of being a housewife. I am tired of being mocked. I wanted a job, I got it, and I'm resuming on Monday. It's like you're, you're not happy with this marriage anymore. Please don't go there. You're not going to work, and that's fine now. You can if you decide to go with- what will you do? What? You won't like the outcome. I'm patiently waiting for you. Just tell me. I'm resuming work on Monday, whether you like it or not. So it's obvious he does not want you to work. What are you going to do about it? You know, it took me years to come to this decision. Because I don't easily make decisions. But when I do, I don't go back on them. I will work and there is nothing anyone will do to stop me. That is it! Now we are talking! Give me five for this. <laughs> this is my bit. This is what I have been waiting for. Huh? But wait, wait, wait. In doing all of this, just remember you're doing it for yourself and your kids. Men are not to be trusted, though. Besides, we don't know what tomorrow holds for you. I understand Melvin has, has done too much. But you see, right now, mm -hmm. I will make him understand that he alone does not have the monopoly of disrespect. Uh -uh. Hey. I'll give him a dose of it. Uh -uh. Trust me. Hey. Wait, is this Tracy or another Tracy? Yo, Tracy. Let's, 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 let's trust me because this is a brand new chess. Chess to being Tracy. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. <laughs> Thank you so much for being by me. And where do you think you're going? Today is Monday. Monday morning. That doesn't answer my question. Well, since you like forgetting things, I'm going to work. Oh, you won't dare. Try and stop me. If you leave this house that you're going to work, better don't come back here. This 
is my house too, as well as it's yours. I will go to work and come back. The kids are ready for school. Drop them off when you're done. Um, you, Ego, or what do you call yourself? Sure, sure you've succeeded in, in spilling your nonsense into my wife's head. <laughs> wife? <laughs> do you have a wife? <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? Yes, and because the person you have at home is a slave, someone you think you can trash around. <laughs> Ah, all these single people, yeah? You've not even succeeded in getting yourself a boyfriend. And you're calling someone else's wife a slave. In our own, own matrimonial home. Anyways, I don't even have a business talking to you. But you see that your friend, right? That girl, Tracy. I warned her. I warned her that if she leaves the house and goes to that place she calls work, she shouldn't come back to the house. Which house? The house that she's unhappy? <laughs> oh God. Really? Really? She wants to leave that house. You think she's happy with everything that's going on? See, I am ready for you, Melvin. And again, no. Please to forget, she is still your wife. So that means that house still belongs to her. I really want to understand you. I really want to. What is your problem? Why are you so scared? Why are you so insecure? See, eh? she has a right to work. She has a right to freedom. It's just this close. Very, very close. She's going to break away from this bondage of yours. <laughs> She's going to break away. Okay. So, you want her to leave her marital home, right? Anyway, I don't have any business with you. I don't know you for Adam, if not for my wife. Me and you, our paths will not even cross. But I just have one message for you and my, your friend you call my wife. Hmm? Let her know that I will clip her wings, right? I will clip it. Oh, Melvin, I would like to watch you try it. Try it! can't even set your priorities right. <laughs> ah. We will see, yeah? We will see. Where are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Who are you? Tracy Whiteside. Yes, Tracy, and you are? Give me a glass of water. Who are you? <laughs> I said, give me a glass of water. Okay. Melvin, you know where to find me, don't you? 
Send money for your child. And do the needful. Excuse you? What did you say the father of this child is? Melvin is the father of my child. Like I said, this should be the last time you step your feet in this house. Next time you cross that gate, or as much as see you around this vicinity, I will put you on fire. Did you get that? Now get out. Same Tracy that I knew, or am I supposed to expect her to have back here? Because this is witchcraft! So, when is the time between you and that going to end? You're getting tired. Um, I wish I could gladly respond to that. You know, your dad and I have. Um, a little thing to sort out. And when we sort those things out, everything will be back to normal. Okay, are you sure? Yes, I am. You don't have to worry yourself, okay? Everything will be back to normal. Hmm? So, I want my big babies <laughs> to go have your meal now. Okay? So, let's go. She did that to Chum. Don't mind the fighting my dad's country. But don't worry, I'm going to shop as well. How do you plan to do that? My lawyer is working on divorce papers. You see that job of hers? She will have to decide if this is the job she wants or this marriage. Come on, if you can't do that, do you want to destroy your home by yourself? Guy, I can do whatever I like. Because ever since the idea of getting this job got into that woman's head, she changed completely. She challenges me in my own house. Guy, I'm not going to take any disrespect from any woman. Least of all, it's, it's, it's Tracy. Why do you talk about your wife like she means nothing to you? That's because no woman is anything. Yes. You give them small respect to you, they will disrespect you. Give them a little chance. They will try to take over. They make you feel as if being in your life, they are doing you a favor. So you would rather make them feel you are doing them a favor, right? I'm an African man. I'm not going to bow to any woman. You're right. An African man does not bow to a woman. Yes. But an African man knows how to respect a woman. Respecting her enough to gain her own respect. <laughs> Look, my friend. You're on the highway. You need to be careful. So you don't crash. <laughs> yeah, don't worry yourself. She needs brake. I know how to match brake. And you see my brake pad there? Eh? My brake pad, they catch. I say match, catch, match them. Match them correctly. Answer. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Good evening. 
Oh! How are you coming from? From what? Is this the time a married woman is supposed to be coming back from work? I sent a message to you as to why I'll be late, but no response from you. Well, that's because I'm not obliged to respond to any stupid message. Well, that's your business. I sent a message as to why I'll be late. I can see this work of yours is getting into your head. I have a good job and I am enjoying my job. Well, in that case, I think it's time to take the big decision. What decision? You will have to choose between work and this marriage. So I have to choose between my job and my marriage? Yes. If you want to continue with that job, then go ahead and sign the divorce papers. But if you will put this marriage first and still want it, then quit that job. I am not quitting my job. Okay. Please send it to us, papers. Well, I'll have my lawyer look at the divorce paper properly before I sign it. That's your business. <laughs> Wait, let me understand this thing. You mean Melvin wants to divorce you? Yes, that's what he wants. But I told him I'll have my own lawyer go through the divorce papers properly. You want to divorce your husband too? He doesn't want my success. He doesn't want my progress. Then he's not worthy to be called my husband. Look, Ego, listen to me. It took me a very long time to come to this bitter realization and to accept things the way they are. But truth be told, I cannot continue like this anymore. Melvin practically mopped the floor with me in the past and I cannot let him win. If it's divorce he seeks, then let's get to court and make it happen. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Tracy, you. Hey, hey. This is so surprising. I have been the one begging you to do the needful. And all you say is no. And now, all of a sudden, you want to fight him with everything? Hey! Mm. Ego, you know me. You know, it takes me time to make decisions. Especially life-changing decisions. But when I make them, there is no going back. Mm. <laughs> Guy, I will frustrate that woman. She does not even know anything yet. You see that, Tracy? <laughs> when I'm done with her, bro, she won't be able to look me in the eyes. I swear. She won't be able to challenge me and talk. Yeah. I served her the divorce papers today. <laughs> Do you know what she did? Yes, I did. Do you know what she did? She collected it and said, Oh, I will show it to my lawyers. <laughs> what lawyers? 
Really? What lawyers? Someone that just thought her work that has not even worked up to one month. Where would she go? She collect her salary. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Huh? Bro, when I'm done, when I'm done with her, she'll be so confused. You know, she'll wake up in the morning, eh? She will say, no, I'm not going to work again today. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just stay. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you talk, you make me feel like marriage is war and not a union of two sane people. Because every time you talk, all I hear is I want to scatter. I want to destroy. I want to do this. I want to... See, Melvin, please, from now on, eh? Whenever we're out like this, just keep all your marriage drama outside our discussion. Eh? Let's come out for once and chill and, and enjoy ourselves, people. Please. Ah, Dave and Amanda, come now. Don't you want to go to the park again? Ah. How are you guys? What took you guys so long? Hmm? You're choosing shit. Okay. Um, but before we go, there's something I want to talk to you two about. I mean, you guys are already grown a bit and you will be able to understand. Yeah? So the thing is, um, your mom and I will be getting a divorce. Yes. Uh, you know, We've been working on it for a while now. Very soon we'll be divorced. Divorce? What do you mean by divorce? Exactly, what do you mean by divorce? Well, he's when the court kind of sees that me and the mom are not compatible. And they say, oh, okay, you guys can go your separate ways. So, a um, woman, go, pack your things and leave the house. A man, you can stay in the house with your children, that kind of thing. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So, um, what makes you think I want to divorce my mom? Well, because she won't have a choice now. Uh, you know, there's no way the court will grant custody to a woman that does not know her left from her right. Do you understand? Like, I mean, your mom, <laughs> she just started work and she does not have the money to take care of you guys now. You know, it's my money. Look at how good you're looking. It's my money. Okay, so when the court sees that and I have money to pay a good lawyer, when they see all that, they will have to grant us the custody. Mm, you guys will be with me. What's custody? Well, um, <clears throat> custody. So that's when um, the court decides that you two should stay with me because I can take care of you guys. Okay, and your mom can pack her things and leave this house and go to wherever the hell she wants to. Okay? Do you think it's possible? Yes, my love. It is possible. Your dad has money to fight it, okay? Your dad is the only one that can take good care of you. And the court will decide that, okay? It's not possible, dad. Because no court will keep me away from my mother. Look, I know you love your mom. Mm -hmm. But in this case, do you want to go to the park or not? You do. Mm -hmm. Because you have fun with me all the time, okay? So let us cheer up, come on. Cheer up. Oops. I'll get you guys ice cream. Huh? Ice cream, you scream. And that was why the tortoise was called the wisest animal in the whole kingdom. So do you guys like the story? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So I will leave you both to sleep now. Tomorrow is home. Okay? Okay. But mom, that said the both of you are going to be divorced. Is that true? Your dad said that? Yes, he did. And that he will make sure the court makes us stay with him and not you. Come on, that's not true. Your dad was only joking. But it doesn't look like he was joking. He was very serious. But do you believe your mom will stay away from you? Good. Mom can never leave you too, okay? So now, go to sleep. Okay?
Have you lost it? Is there anything wrong with your head? Is it not you I should be asking if you've lost it? Because what's the meaning of this? You come in here, you drag my phone and you're asking me stupid question. Tell me to give you a hot slap. Tell me, Melvin Odogu. Tell me! If you raise your hand, I swear this will be the last thing you will do in your entire life. <laughs> what is What's going on? Wait. Is it this new job that you just started? That they've not even paid you salary for the first month that is giving you mouth? Because I don't understand who is playing this drum that you're dancing to. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. But you see, dragging my children into this your useless drama is what I will not take. Why will you tell them about the divorce? Oh, that. Why won't I tell them? Wait, don't they have the right to know that their mother will be leaving them soon? Oh, yes. You should even be on your knees thanking me that I told them so they can spend the much time they can with you now knowing that their mom will be leaving soon. <laughs> So you believe that I won't be in the lives of my children? You believe that I will leave this house without them? Brotherly, you need to have a rethink. Because I, Tracy, will not leave this house without my kids. Take my kids out of your manipulative drama. Give me my... Take them out! Nonsense. This thing is becoming real. Suman, <laughs> you're trying me, you. <laughs> this is it's becoming real. Okay. Okay. Do you really want to leave this marriage? I mean, do you want a divorce? Is there anything wrong in being divorced? I can actually leave this house with my kids happily. Void of stress, emotional trauma, and degradation. Look, Melvin might be the most stupid person there is in the world, but he's my friend. And if I know anything at all about Melvin, it's the fact that he loves you. He belongs to this school of thought that. When a man shows too much affection towards a woman, she tends to misbehave and all of that. But trust me, deep down, he loves you. Have you tried talking to his father about this? You and I know Melvin doesn't listen to anyone. He doesn't even speak with his father, let alone listen to him. Why are we sounding as if we don't know who we're talking about here? Oh, you have a point. So, you are what? A lawyer? Yes, I am. And this is the written modification for the divorce. My client does not have an issue granting you the divorce. But we also have our own terms. I see. Okay. I'll look at it. Um, I will have to see my lawyer as well. But you know what? I think I should just call him so that um, see if it's possible for him to come so we all can can have this discussion all together in the open and um, just trash everything and see how we go from there. Right? All right. No problem. I have all the but do you mind if I have one minute of conversation with my client? Yeah, sure. You don't need his permission to do that. So, 
So you want 50% of everything you want yes. and you also want to cost all your children. Yes. Are you not daft? Because if not, what will give you the impression that I will give you a dime of my money? Huh? Listen, you're not getting my money. You're not getting anything from this marriage. Okay? And as for the children, they are not going with you either. Okay? So what you will do is go in there, pack your things and leave this house alone. Then you have something else coming for you. Trust me, I am not leaving this house without my children and I want full custody of them. But they are my children. Okay? My children. They are mine. And you, your mother, right? You will crave their attention. Really? Yes, you will crave their love. You will crave everything from them, but you will not say it. So they are your children? And you will not let them come close to me? Yes. What if I told you they are not your children? What then? What do you mean by that? What if I tell you Dave and Amanda are not your children? What will you do? Kenneth, where are you? Calm down. Kenneth, where are you? I need to see you right now. Please. This Tracy of a woman is trying to drive me crazy, but I, I refuse to get nuts, bro. Please, I beg you, I need to see you right now. Please. Yeah, 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 please. If not, I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her. I'll be with you shortly. I don't know what you're going crazy about, but compose yourself, okay? All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll come see you then. I'll just change them. I will meet at our usual spot. All right. Did you actually tell Melvin that he's not the father of the children? He wanted to take custody of my children for me. I should tell him the truth, right? <laughs> truth. What's truth? I mean, what are you even talking about? I am really trying to understand you. I hope you're not doing all of this just to get back at him. What do you think? You think I should stoop this low to do this stupid something with you? Come on. Tracy. Who is the father of your children? You'll find out in due time. <laughs> are you for real? I mean, are you trying to tell me Tracy really said that? That those kids are not yours? You can imagine the nerves. Wow. The F1 tree. No, 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 no. She dare not. Is she mad? Is she crazy or something? No, calm no, down. No, no, calm no. Down. I can't be fooled. I can't calm be fooled. down, uh, Melvin. Calm down. Has she played a prank on you before? I mean, is she trying to pull your legs right now? Because she cannot just literally come up to you and tell you a thing like this. It's not sounding realistic. Exactly. Exactly. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to joke with this. I am going to do a test. I have taken some samples. I've gathered them. I just need a few more. Just to be sure. Tomorrow I will take them. And I will give them to my doctor. And God help that woman. Honestly, God help that woman. She prayed. Ah, oh God. No, no, no. She should pray, bro. She should pray because her. Ah, no, no, no. I will kill her. Hey. Don't, don't use such words. Come on. Be diplomatic for once. Everything will be fights. Ah. Calm down. You will do no such thing, okay?
Come back for love Make you know the back for love If it's meant to be I'm sorry I swear you go I had no other choice. I'm sorry. When the time is right, to love go find you. And I know you only try to find true love. You gave your love away. The ones who don't value your worth, but you still won't leave. Tell me the truth. The truth about what? Were you pulling my legs when you said the children are not mine? I thought your leg is long enough. You don't joke with a man with things like that. I know, which is why I'm not joking. Do you know what I would do if this stunt of yours turns out to be true? What will you do? Probably start screaming, breaking things, hurt yourself. And at the end of the day, you'll be fine. Hmm. And you say it's casually like that. It hasn't happened yet. If it happens, I might react differently. But it hasn't happened. So why do I start crying already in pity? Huh. I see. You have seen many sides of Melvin. You know the things I can do. But the thing I would do to you, if this turns out to be true, oh God, it will shock you. Oh, please. I would love to see you shock me. And I would love to see that side of you that I have never seen. any results. It says that the children are not mine. So? I already told you that before. So? I already 
told you that before. Does this not mean anything to you that you're telling me so? That the children who have called me father for the longest of time, the children I paid their bills, school fees I catered for, are not mine? You're telling me no? Are you mad? What other answers do you seek for? Huh? Tell me! They are not your kids, so what? Tracy, you will answer me. Who is your father? Melvin, calm down. Calm down. Look, I think there's a mix-up somewhere because I don't know your wife to be somebody like this. Then the DNA result, is it lying? No, tell me now. Oh, God. Ah, children that have, have called my own for a very long time. Children that have grown to love. Children that have been taken care of for such a long time and not mine. Bro, I'm going to kill that girl. I'm going to kill Tracy. Honestly, I will kill her. Melvin, Melvin, calm down. Calm down. See, I know what, if this proves true, what Tracy did is bad. But then, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, bro. Have you forgotten you also do the same to her? Does Tracy know about the, the, the two women that are pregnant for you right now? Does she know? Calm down. Let's let's think and see how we can get to the root of all of this. Bro, I've told you countless times. I don't know why you let, you keep allowing me to repeat this thing. I'm an African man. Uh. I can do as I please. I can have as many wives as I want to. I can do with any woman what I want as long as it's my house. But she has no right to do this thing to me. But she you, has no right. You, you do the same to her every day. Every single day of her life. What have, okay, tell me. Have you not put that woman through enough torture for her to react this way? Even if this proves to be true, bro. You, you cannot justify what you've done to that woman. You know what I'm saying is true. Just calm down and let's, let's find a way around all of this. I still don't believe her anyways. Are you going to drive or what? Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Are you mad? Have you lost it? Listen. You have 30 seconds to tell me who the father of those children are. If not, I will kill you, kill myself, then I will go to hellfire. Does it hurt? I said you have 30 seconds. You've used five, meaning you have 25. Who is their father? I said, who is the father? You want to know? Fine. Before I say anything, there's some people that must be here. Who? Hmm. Where are the children? I said, Where are the children? Why? Oh, you don't want to show them how shameless you are, eh? In fact, I demand that those children are here before we continue. Those children have to come here. They have to see how shameless and useless this woman is. I can take anything from you, but what I will not take is you inside. You are shameless! Don't ever I say you are shameless! You are shameless! Shameless, shameless woman! You must go and bring them. She has to be. Remember me, she has I said shut up! I don't know what you're wondering about this. I don't know. Whatever reason 
she has called us here. I guess it's for a private conversation. You went here, it's done a very good thing. Saving these children from such a sensitive situation. But this is sensitive situation concerns them. So they have to be here. They need to be here. And I am demanding that they are here. Melvin. Melvin, calm down now. Your dad is right. They are just kids. Even if we were in a court, they would not let them attend the court sections. Their hearts are too fragile for that. Please let it be so we can continue. Ah. Okay. Sure, I'm here now. I'm here. We are all here. Um, useless woman. You say you said you will not say anything unless my dad and your aunt are here. Well, they are here. Okay. It is time. Tell us the bastard. Tell us the idiot. The useless bastard that, that gave you bastards as children. Tell us the guy's name right now. Don't ever insult me. I should not insult you. Don't insult me. You, you are useless. Don't insult me. You are useless. Don't insult me. Calm down. I don't understand. Smarties, are you mad? I don't know, Maggie. I'm asking you. How dare you talk to her like that? And you like the paternity of the children. What is wrong with you? I'm I mad. No, I am not mad. It is your useless niece that is mad. This woman here is a bastard woman. She is mad because she's the one that told me that the children are not mine before I went to do a paternity test. And then the test result showed me that yes, I am not the father of those children. So we are all gathered here. She needs to tell us who the bastard is. The idiot that has been so useless that has allowed me to pay his bills. I want to know the idiots. It is one person that she opened this her useless two legs for. If you, can shut up, like, if you can shut up and allow us to have a reasonable conversation here, you will know what I'm talking about. If I can shut up, shut up. Yes, shut up. I should shut up. Yes, 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 shut down. Yes, shut up. Yes, shut up. Yes, shut up. Yes, shut up. What happened? And why are you saying that these children are not his children? No, but you are missing the point. The point right now is not about what she has said. The point and the reason why we are all gathered here now is the fact that those children are not mine. We are here for the truth. We are all gathered here for the truth. So we need her to talk and tell us who the father of that children is. Who the, is it isn't even one person. Who the fathers? Who the person is? Um, Dad, please, I would love to have a word with my aunt outside. You are a bastard too. Ah. Waka! Eh? Waka! You are going to go uh, you want to go with her for what? Anything you want to say to her, say it here. You don't force me to say what I want to say here. You must say that in truth. You must say it. You must say it. I will say it when I want to. No, don't come in the house. 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 Don't come in Tracy, you have my permission. Go with your auntie and discuss what you want to do with Okay? Auntie, please. You! Have you seen? Have you seen your useless friend that you have been running your mouth? Cho -cho 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 for? Have you seen how useless and shameless she is? It's just, what am I even saying? Beds of the bread are flock together. You, useless! You, you are a witch as well. You you useless you person. Rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah. Fools. I'm sure you know who the father is yourself. You know, don't you? Wait, it's your... Calm down. Who is the father? Who is the... Uh, who are the fathers? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, Auntie. That's the truth. So how do you hope to go about this now? 
Seriously, Auntie, I don't know. I don't want to do this, but I just feel I should tell everyone the truth. <laughs> Let what will be, be. Do you know the war this will cause? Auntie, I have been at war with myself and this family for a very long time. At this point, I don't care anymore. Let what will be, be. Gozime about this. Hi! But you would have told me this earlier. You would have told me this from the beginning. I am your auntie. At least I would have known what to do and how to go about it. Auntie, I was younger and had no option. I don't care. Let the heart that will break break. <sighs> I am here now. Let's see how it goes. But I want you to be mindful of the fact that what you did was very wrong. Let me just see how it goes. Well, I called for this meeting and it's because my husband has pushed me to the wall. He has said a lot to me. I never knew a day will come when I'll have to say the truth. Especially the paternity of my children. Oh, will you please go straight to the point and stop giving us this your sanctimonious speech? Okay? Just tell us who the father of those your children are. Father of my children. He's here. What? Kenneth! You? I don't understand. Why me? Are you mad? How would you even think I'll, 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 I'll look at your wife? Did you not just hear her? Did you just know when she said the father of a child, her children is here? And so, am I the only man in this place? Are you the only man? <clears throat> no, 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 no. No. It's impossible. Dad? No. No! Ah, come on. Witch, you better tell me that you are joking here. Tell me that you are joking. Because he cannot be the father of my... Excuse me. He cannot be the father of those you bastards. Dad, say something, no. Say something because I'm beginning to lose it. I am getting mad. I'm believing her. Say something. They are mine. 
Not dead. Hey. Hey, 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 calm down. 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 I see. Shocking to put up. But calm down. Okay? Now, you have to know something, right? <laughs> this is a time for you to play the role of a wife. And I know me. Are you listening to me? This is a time for you to play the role of a wife and give your husband his crown. Yes. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Melvin. Is my only child. The family needs an heir. So you and I can give him both siblings and children. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. You mean you and I? My daughter, calm down. You see, I know it's a difficult thing to do. I know you're a virtuous woman. You have been a very good wife to Melvin. Do you rather you go outside and bring in a bastard to be an Odogu? Think about it. Eh? It is better. Just swallow your What breath. are you saying? Melvin is going to throw me out of this house. Oh, mama, it will not happen. The Marvin I know, my son, will not throw you out of the house. He will not. Marvin I know is a very, very proud man. Once you get pregnant, have a child, Marvin will be a father to that child. And you both will live happily ever after. Trust me, please, my daughter. Do this for me. Please. He's my only son. I'm broken. Please. 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 I can't do that for you. I can't take it. I'm hurting like you're hurting. Please. Please. Anything you want in this world, I will get for you. Please. My lineage cannot go extinct. Please. My daughter, please. I beg you. If you truly love this family, do this for me. Me, not Melvin. Please. I wasn't convinced to do that. But something in me wanted to get back at Melvin. 
I wanted to get back at him so badly. Because he lied to me. I wanted to hit him where it hurts the most. I know how it suffocates a man when he finds out his wife cheated on him. So I did it. And yes, may often your father is the father of our children. Please, I beg you, I beg you, allow me hurt this man. Let me just hit him once, I beg you. You don't need to. Please, you don't need just, oh, just a little. You don't have to. Melvin, Melvin, hit me. Hit me, Melvin, hit me. Every father, Melvin, would do anything to protect his own. Every father. I did what I did because of you. When I left, you had the accident and you couldn't produce a child, Melvin. Because of the accident you had? Do you know the pain, Melvin? Do you know the pain? Do you? What do you think? Do you think I am happy to do what I did? What do you think? I couldn't believe that I, I, Chief Marcus Ebume TK Odo, my name will go extinct. Or do you rather she gets bastards into the Doku family? <laughs> You rather that if not for anything, you should be thanking your wife here. If there's anybody you need to eat, Melvin is me. Eat me, Melvin. Melvin eats me. Eat me, Melvin. Feed me. Melvin feeds me. And if I don't do what I have done. I did it for you. 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 No, I did it for you, man. I did it for you, man. Oh, my God. Melvin, what was that issue? Was my only son. So you knew you could not father a child, but you wanted to cheat her. Hmm? Now look who got cheated. Melvin, you knew these kids were not yours. So why are they shouting? No, why were you shouting? So what was I supposed to do? Hmm? Can you tell me? What am I supposed to do? What well, I'm supposed to take it megaphone and announce to the world that oh it is world impotent day and your boy melvin is impotent huh is that what i'm supposed to do See, look look everything that just happened here is wrong everything your father being the father of your kids is wrong look i don't care how you're gonna fix this but you need to fix this. So fix it. Fix what? I'm not fixing anything. She leaves. She's going. At least now I know the kids are not mine. It makes everything easier. So let everyone just go their separate ways. 
You're so, you're so unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Melvin! I don't believe myself, so... So what are you going to do? Right now, everything is a mess. I know, Auntie. That is why I want a divorce. I'll get the paper signed and I'll leave. I'll leave with my children. <gasps> but don't want to try and see how this can work? Make what to work, Auntie. <gasps> Do you know what I go through? The degradation? The insult? He practically mops the floor with me, bring in different girls, and rub it in my face, and you say I should try to make things work? I'm sorry, Auntie, I can't. I cannot do it. I have found my identity. I am a working woman and I can take care of my kids. If Melvin and I continues this way, I will kill him if he doesn't kill me. Yeah. Hello, your Let me take my leave, eh? so I'll see you some other time, okay? Okay. Also okay. take care of yourself, okay? All right. All right. Please be careful. I don't even know if I should be angry or... Do you know what? Just see me off, okay? Trace, why didn't you say something to me? This was supposed to be my family secret. But Melvin doesn't want it to be so. I had to say it out. I have been carrying this burden like forever. So now everybody knows. But what you did was very, very bad. I know. Absolutely wrong. I was angered. I needed to get back at him at all costs. That's why I had to do what I did. But my kids are no mistake. I love them and I'll live with them. You're my friend. And whatever decision you make, I support you. You can always come to my house anytime you want. My doors are always open for you, okay? Hmm? Just Thank you. Just be fine. I'll call you. Thank you so much. Please drive safely. You have to leave my house. I'm ready to leave. We've missed each other. What do you need to end this? I need thirty percent of everything you own. So I can start my own life. Don't be deceived. You did seem to. You cheated on me. I just paid you back in your own coin. Do you know what I went through? Time and again, I kept doubting myself. I kept trying to validate myself. You mopped the floor with me. 
You throw your relationship and friendship in my face. I looked like a loser. I looked worthless. I wanted to get back at you. And I am glad I did it. Anything that will hurt you makes me happy. I'll get your lawyer tomorrow. We'll sign those papers and end this. Do you agree to my terms? My life is more important. Officially done. I love you tomorrow. No, baby, no, you what? Somebody did the pray to have you, but you still did the play. With your feelings and emotion, you still did the back. When you still could walk away, done, babe. Done, babe. To learn, go find you. Love. 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 Love.